what is the terror mask and splatter house also known as the hell mask it is an ancient relic of tremendous power but it only grants this power when it has bonded with a host the mask would attach itself to the host and transform them into a gigantic brute of destruction fueled by revenge hate and anger this massive warrior is given powers that make it almost unstoppable the mask itself is inhabited by an immortal being from another dimension it also displayed telekinetic powers the host that took up the mask was rick taylor it would speak to him telepathically guiding him throughout his journey at times the mask would appear to aid rick in his battles but its true intentions remained hidden from the host it would fool the host in many ways through lies manipulation and trickery this was just to further its own ambitions the entity within the mask was planning to take over this dimension the spirit within the mask could also transfer to another host as it did with the evil one's body in splatterhouse 3. according to the journals of dr henry west he mentions he acquired the terror mask from an aztec coffin it was on the withered body of a previous host from a long time ago when he fails to unlock the secrets within he puts his attention to other matters to him it's just a ceremonial bone mask the entity within the mask never revealed itself to dr west but it does speak to rick when he's badly injured in trying to save his girlfriend jennifer from dr west rick puts the mask on and it transforms him into a hulking beast it can also reach a berserk form that is even stronger equipped with faster regeneration more agility and massive bone blades from its forearms it is believed that this form is controlled by the entity within the mask because once you activate this form you see through the black and white vision of the mask the terror mask was actually a slave to the corrupted which are described as an alien like deity species they come from a realm known as the abyss which is the home and prison of the corrupted it was depicted as the land of the dead the corrupted had enslaved the terror mask for an eternity when a war broke out it escaped through a tear in the fabric of the universe this entity got revenge by slaying a member of the corrupted when it was summoned during a ritual of the five eclipses after this event the corrupted denied any entity escaping their control either they lied or they believed nobody would oppose them since the terror mask spent so much time in the abyss and learning about the corrupted it describes them in this way they are everything and nothing the many angled ones unknowable timeless eternal they inhabit the abyss the gulf between what's said and what's understood the place from whence stems all human suffering mankind can only trace their jagged silhouette around the shadow they cast across the world they are famine conflict genocide they are now and forever amen and they're coming your way while the splatterhouse game in 2010 had many easter eggs related to other franchises one of my favorites is that the splatterhouse 2 box art in north america and europe had a monster that looked very similar to an adult xenomorph at some point the design of the mask was altered because it looked too similar to the mask of jason Voorhees from friday the 13th so if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like rating on it and subscribe with notifications turned on i also have rewards for anyone who pledges to my patreon to support my channel that way thanks for watching my name is carlos and i'll see you in the next video